My Tato, welcome into Netball Zone for the elimination final where it's all gone down at Taropaha Arena here in Porirua. Only one point was between these teams, and it was in the final minute of the game as the stars they were victorious. The home side, the pulse, unfortunately, just couldn't go that one little bit extra to head to the grand final next week against the Mystics. Cruz, we were jumping up and down. Oh. We're exhausted. I feel like we played in that. What a way to have the elimination final. Such an amazing game from both teams. You know, both teams really bought it. I think for the first half of the game, it went all the way of the pulse. But full credit to the Stars for really staying composed under a lot of pressure. The crowd here was phenomenal. I can still feel the energy, but full credit for, to the Stars for staying composed and getting over the line in that final You minute. speak of the crowd, it was sold out, I think, probably 90% of the crowd was cheering for the Pulse. But as you said, the Stars, they say composed. Do you feel like they got their revenge from the grand final last year? Yeah, I think they did. And, you know, sometimes they don't actually think about it. You can sort of tell that it's playing on their mind. But, you know, Amorangi Malisala standing up time and time again under pressure. I thought Ali Timu, their defensive end, was absolutely fantastic. And when she needed to stand up, Jenna Crampton, she did. So great effort from them today. The third quarter, uh, it was 16 to 8, where the Stars really came out and won that one. But it all started going down to the final moments cruise. Only one point in it. You can see there a great drive along the baseline. A penalty was called. Time went, and it was the shot where the Stars secured themselves into that grand final. I mean, look at the, the happiness coming from not only the players, but also the fans as well. And it was so loud here, they actually couldn't hear what the right call was. But again, Amorangi, Amorangi Malisala standing up time and time again. And for such a young player, she's getting some really good court time today and she's proving her worth. Now we see there on screen Yvette McCall's injury. This is her final match as the coach of the Pulse and she has just been such a figure of our game, hasn't she? Not just here in the Wellington region, but also in uh, for Nepal New Zealand as a whole. You know, listen to Kelly Jury, she was getting emotional talking about a bit McCall's injury. There really are no words to, to describe a bit. She's obviously a fantastic coach. She is so knowledgeable, but her as a person is absolutely amazing. Well, so I mean, full credit here, Kelly Jury getting her 100th game as well. Wasn't quite coming away with the win, but so much to celebrate for the Pulse here in uh, Porirua. Yeah, and she did get some crucial balls uh, when she needed to. Stars defence was outstanding tonight in Eli Temu and Holly Fowler. Oh, full credit to both of them. I think they really took the town of out of the game and really separated those two shooters. You know, the, the Pulse really had to reset back to the transverse line. So we can see here the intercepts for uh, both of them, three intercepts, three bounds and 12 deflections. That's a huge, huge turnover rate for these two players. And they were workhorses. They just stuck to their guns and really, really showed what kind of great defenders they were. So again, full credit to them today. And I think also very good coaching by the Stars uh, coaching side to just leave it out there and let them grow into the game. Yeah, and like I said, I think the first half went, for, uh, went the way of the Pulse. But like you mentioned, Coco, 16-8 to the Stars in that third quarter. And that really came down to the defensive edge for the Stars. So a great effort from, from them. All right, we have the ANZ Premiership Fan MVP. And it was voted by all of you at home, Maddie Gordon. Look at that one. Two games, two intercepts, 25 circle feeds as we welcome Maddie Gordon in. Well, Maddie, commiserations, not the result. How was it for you in those final minutes? How long for it? No, yeah, it's all right. I think, as we've seen in the past couple of games, we've really clutched it at the end, and I think we all were like, we can do this. I don't think we got nervous. I thought we were like, we can do this, but yeah, it just wasn't our day today, and it happens. Well, speak about the battle between yourself and Mila Rioli, Buchanan, Manny. I mean, you guys know each other really, really well, but how was that out there? Because we saw a couple of bodies on the ground this afternoon. Was it was it a really good uh, contest against her? It always happens, doesn't it? No, <laughs> I think Mila's a great competitor, and I think, yeah, we both just throw our bodies at everything. So, yeah, it was a good game out there today. Now, we just saw the presentations. We spoke about it, but can you tell us in your own words how influential she has been on your career as a younger player and coming through the system? Yeah, definitely. I obviously moved here with not a lot of people knowing who I was. She gave me that chance. Um, she really coached me to be the player I am today. So, yeah, I can't thank her enough.
And how, how much has she helped you in terms of your attacking game as well, Maddie? Because, of course, we saw you starting in the wing defence position, more of a defensive mid-quarter, but you've slowly moved up the court a little bit. Has she helped you along those ways in terms of your attacking player? I mean, we can see here on the screen now some fantastic movement from you, some fantastic passes. Superwoman here, as we can see, that great intercept. I thought I was that, going <laughs> How beneficial has, has Yvette been in terms of your attacking game as well? Yeah, no, definitely. She's been great. And like you said, I came here more as a defensive, like wing defence centre. So, yeah, she's definitely helped me in that game of, yeah, just, I think, changing direction in that small space but not a lot not just the on court just giving me that confidence to also play how I play out there and then I have to thank like you know Whitney and then when Claire was back like all of those people who have helped me in the past like yeah they've definitely helped me be the player I am and such a young team so it's scary to think if you guys can stay together what you can do in the future Maddie we give our commiserations about the loss but congratulations on fan MVP yeah, thank you so much thank you <laughs> all right it's time to head out to Jody Brown who is standing by with Yvette McCall's injury well, thank guys. thanks, guys. I've got Yvette with me. Well, Yvette, commiserations. Talk to me about what happened in that third quarter, 16-8. Yeah, it was critical in the end, and I think um, certainly on attack, we played with a bit of width, and I think at times we got a little bit disconnected, and then we lost the faith about letting ball go, struggled to get turnover ball, and they were scoring pretty quickly under the post. So, look, it never comes down to any one thing, but um, I'm really proud of them. I thought there was some really good moments, and we expected it to be a really tight tussle, and it sure was. So, yeah, look, it's a flip of a coin. We've been on the other side of one-point wins and on the other side of losses, so... Fantastic competition. Well, they can be so heartbreaking, can't they? Especially for young players as well, because you do have a young team. Do you think in those last moments that it was the inexperience or the experience of, you know, your team versus the Stars? Yeah, look, I don't think it came down to too much. They, were, they knew there was 45 seconds. It was a long time to try and play it around, but, but they also had to score knowing it was their centre pass. So, look, I think players make the right decision based on what they think is there at the time. You practice all sorts of scenarios and... You know, they're going to kick themselves about all sorts of things, but we were, look, I'm really proud of them. I think they've done a great job, and yes, they were good enough to get there, but wasn't today. Stars did really well, they shot well, they really put pressure on the spaces that we were moving, and really physical, so very good competition. Well, the season in a whole wasn't a disappointment for the Pulse. Uh, you know, in rounds, I think it was six, you were still fifth on the table. Then you went on an eight-match winning streak. What turned that around? Yeah, look, I think this group knew that um, there were a number of connections that were still coming. Amelia was new in the unit. We'd moved um, Maddie into centre. She was previously wing D and, of course, new wing D. So just getting those combinations settled took a little bit of time. And I think once they got the flow, it was really, really good. So, um, yeah, we got ourselves in a position to fight for this. So I'm pleased with that part. Are you going to miss it? I'll definitely miss it. I don't think it'll be real until next season when it all rolls around that, that I won't be there. So it's been amazing. I leave it loving it, and it's been a real privilege. Well, let's have a talk and see if you can come back to our crew next next year, eh? Thanks, Love Yvette. We here. really appreciate everything you've done for no Nepal worries. in New Zealand. Thank you. Thank you. Back to you guys. And we will miss Yvette as we welcome in the winning coach, Kitty Wills. Kitty, I said earlier, Cruz and I were jumping up and down in that last minute. How are you feeling and doing throughout that? Yeah, I think I gave it the first his pump and, and did the big woohoo but um, yeah really pleased with that Poles have been hard for us to beat in these pressure matches two finals lost to them in the past so to, to win this is amazing well because I want to talk about the composure from your team like we just mentioned I think only one turnover from your team in that final quarter you must be so pleased with the amount of pressure the, the home crowd for the Pulse you know you had it all against you but you were really composed in yeah, that yeah and I think that's the thing that we've been working on the most this season is we call it we've got our own little phrase we made it up it's dynamic composure because often when you tell a team to be calm and composed they slow down they stop moving they're less dynamic so that's our thing and um, it's worked for us. Now if you can see yourself there kids this is your reaction. Very focused, <laughs> very vocal, we love to see it. We love it. <laughs> yes. And I have to know right behind you was all the stars, Fano. What does it mean to have them here because it was about 90% of, of the sold out crowd here was going for the yes. pulse. So what does it mean to have the purple army supporting your side? The purple army was really loud like I heard them pulling out some defense calls and then the pulse crowd had to respond. So I, I think that energy definitely lifts your team and sometimes we've been at TSB where they're miles away from us and you can't really feel them. I think that energy really counts. So we're wanting all the stars Fano. <laughs> there's dupes. <laughs> we want all the stars Fano to hop on the buses whether they're there from South Auckland or wherever in the world and come to Hamilton next week. Now, well, speaking of next week, you're up against the Mystics. You know, you've played them three times a season, got that really amazing double extra time win against them. 
Give us your thoughts on that matchup. It's going to be a doozy, won't it? Yeah, look, they're our neighbours. We love them. And then when we go up against them, it's a real tough battle. And, and we fight for it, both teams. So we're expecting them to bring some really strong stuff. I think we, every time we go out against them, you learn something more. So we'll be putting that all out there next weekend. So I need to know how much you've learned about Grace Wicker and how you need to shut her down because she is putting up close to 70 goals a match. Yeah, look, I think Calera did a really good job throughout the season, pushing her away from... She's got a real sweet spot underneath that post. She needs to be three foot or inside that post, inside that um, where that goal post is. And so we just need to push her out a little bit and then the ball is ours. She's got to offload it or she's got to shoot and that's where you get the ball off her. I think we'll try and break it down a little bit earlier though and not rely on our goal kick to do all the work. Well, speaking of shooters, I've mentioned just before Amurangi Malesala really standing up. I mean, how impressed are you of her? Yeah, look, she um, she's so hard on herself. She actually came off that game and said, sorry, kids. <laughs> um, she has had the most outstanding season. She's, she shot clutch shots like she did tonight. Um, for us all year, so I'm just really stoked for her because she's worked really hard. She's had two years on the bench, um, and I think that's a great story about perseverance. Well, Kisby, thank you so much, and we wish you all the very best Thanks, for the grand guys. final next week against the Mystics that will be down in Kirikiriroa. But for now, we've got our final E! News. It is the best bits from across the season. This is it, the moment we've all been waiting for. E exclusive, E exciting, E everything, E news. You're simply the best. Better than all the rest. Anyway, Fare Paku, what is it? Fare Paku, I don't know. I, knew, I know Puku means belly. <laughs> yeah, so if you've got a sore Puku, you need to go to the Fare Paku. That must be the doctors. Oh, yeah, the doctors! Yes, right, correct. <laughs> no, they're like this on the platform. <laughs> Do it, ready, go. One, two, three. Because then that would be the ultimate oh. defender, like... Oh, oh, wait, that's me. No? no. <laughs> the best DJ is me, and this is Tay's News. Take that away. I don't know what it is what you've done to me. Girl. But I'm starting to act in such a crazy way. It's got me a couple of times saying... Bombastic side A. couple of naughty words, but um, I'm, I've really reined it in now. Have you really? Roll the tape. Oh, oh f Village. Honestly, our village is huge and they're hands-on. They do sleepovers, they do pickups, they do drop-offs, they do breakfast, dinners. Honestly, they even do our washing. I get so weak, weak. in the knees, I can hardly speak. Three, two, one, colour. Cut. Three, two, one, grey. Oh. But is there tani? Hey. We got some footage. You got some footage? Yeah, we got some footage on your mind. Wanna see it? <laughs> yeah. Yep, yeah. ready, roll the tape. Your girl's happy. Yes, we love being love happy. Love I'm bloody pumped, actually. Feel like going out, you know? <laughs> and enjoy and have a few dances for us. Well done. <laughs> What's open? <laughs> Go, three, two, one. Camera. <laughs> Get a ring, hey? Yeah. You want a ring? So put a ring on it. Wait for it, Fano. Can you do know how to sing? That's as long as it's taking back, too, to put a ring on it. <laughs> Actually, just be kind. Oh, yeah. There it is, Fano. Be like Sulu. Be kind. People back there, this is the sweetheart segment of E News where we take it down a notch. Back to you fellas in the studio, Coco and Cruz. Me and Sulu. Amini. Love you. Love you more. Oh, and a big thank you to Edna for all her E! News throughout the season. All right, as we welcome in the coaches of the Mystics, Tia Winnekere and Rob Wright. First of all, you guys are in the crowd. I need to know your thoughts on that match and going down to one point. Yeah, look, it was an amazing match and um, tight all the way through. So really cool to watch and, and then watch the teams bring out what they needed to in the end to try and win the game. Uh, we've been there. 
lots of times this year, so we know how hard it is. So big congratulations to the stars, but also to the Pulse who took them all the way to the end, and it was anybody's game. And Rob, of course, you're up against the stars uh, next week in, in Hamilton for the final of the ANZ Premiership. Any sort of learnings from this game that you'll sort of implement into that game? Uh, yeah, there were, but we can't tell you. <laughs> come on. Come you on, can tell us. We won't tell anyone. Well, the one thing I can tell you, I was disappointed that it didn't go to extra, extra time. They didn't play for about 18 hours. Fair I enough. I thought they could just keep playing. Now, this is the first year you're both coaching together as head coach and assistant coach. What's the relationship been like and the journey been like this season? Oh, it's been, been really good uh, from my point of view. I love working, working with Rob and we're so different that uh, what we bring to each other is, is a blessing. It's a blessing both to our coaching partnership but also to the team and I think it provides a lot of variety, diversity and individualism within what we do. So it's been really cool. Uh, hopefully he's going to say the same about me. I'm not sure. But it's also been really challenging because it's a tough gig and uh, the competition's been really tight. But that's to the credit of all the other teams that have played exceptionally well throughout. Now, Rob, recently you actually celebrated your 200th game coaching. You know, speak to us about that because that's a, such a milestone for you, isn't it? Oh, I think they were quite generous because I think that's assistant coach and head coach. So um, I'm not sure what each of, of either of them is, but um, look, it's just a, uh, I'm really fortunate to be able to do what I love. Um, and this environment's just been outstanding. And um, I think massive kudos has to go to Tia for, um, I don't think you get to the grand final by luck. Um, so uh, first year in and she's put together an amazing program and um, done an amazing job. Well, speaking of the grand final, your team will be there next Sunday, but they were there in 2021. It was a very happy moment. They won that one. We can see it there on screen. How do you recreate this in a week's time to you? Well, let's hope we look like that <laughs> at the end of next week's game. Look, we've been working to this all year. Uh, and the plan, we've got to the point we have. We've got to just keep trucking on with what we've been doing and stick to the processes that we need. Obviously, it comes with a different level of pressure. And over the last couple of weeks, you can feel the pressure lifting and you definitely felt it in the room tonight. So it's how we cope with that and how we go into it. But I'm confident that we've done, we're prepared as well as we can. And uh, it's going to be a fight next week. Yes, it will be a fight, one that we're very much looking forward to. But something that we're not looking forward to is the retirement of Sully Fitzpatrick, and we have a tribute story here. Hey, Sue. Hey, Sue. Hi, Sue. Oh, of course I would cry. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> to our beautiful sister, mother, auntie, daughter, cousin, everything in between, to our solo. It wasn't actually long ago that we are in the bathroom and I was asking you, why are you retiring? You've got so much more juice left in your legs. And it was the reasoning behind giving others a go, spending more time with your family. And I've learned so much from you. You're so genuine, you're so kind. You lead with love and I'm gonna take that with me for my career. I feel so privileged to have been um, a small part in your career, but I feel like those years that I had with you were one of the, um, the years that I'll cherish the most. Thank you for being a huge support to me. Um, I love you, but I'm sure I'll see you after this anyway um, for babysitting duties, but I've loved every minute that I've had with you and I love the, um, the friendship that we have built over the years. You've always been just an amazing leader. You lead from the front and also just so, so tough to play against one of the best competitors. You're both an incredible netballer and a beautiful person. Um, enjoy retirement with your beautiful family. I want to go one story from us when we were younger on the court at Magic and you kick the ball down court and Noles goes, are you 17? What are you kicking the ball for? And you're just like, oh, I am. From that girl to the person you are today, you are outstanding. It was honestly such a privilege to be able to play with you. And it's gonna be not the same, not seeing that smile on court of yours and that cheekiness. You have love for everybody and it shows, like it radiates throughout you. You are just the most selfless player ever, um, to the point where we were kind of like, we would watch you and be like, you need to just look after yourself as well. <laughs> you know, it's, you're the kind of player you always want in your team you don't want to come up against, so we're going to really, truly miss you out there. 
I, when I describe you to anybody and what you bring and when I'm asked about you, um, or even like teams when um, I'm not in your team now, I know that you're the glue. I always describe you as being the glue to every team. I love you and I am so happy that you're gonna go spend some time with your whanau. Love you, Sue, and all the best for what's next to come. Whoa. Such a beautiful chat there, all solo and so many tears. We're almost crying here. You guys have spent all year or years with Sulu, but what's it like when you hear other players who aren't even from the Mystics and their words that they have and the aroha that they have for Sulu? Yeah, I think it's that part, Court. Um, the aroha that they, they have for her, and they've already said exactly how exceptional she is. I mean, she's an amazing person, and she makes everybody around her better, always. Um, I think I'm gonna cry now. I'm a bit like B. Right, I won't. Yeah, well, we know you won't, nah. so, but you could probably tell us the player that Sulu is. Um, I think, um, before I even get to that, how amazing for all those wonderful, amazing players, what they just said, that half of them are in tears. Like, I just think it probably shows what an extraordinary person and extraordinary leader she is. She is just the, an outstanding captain, one of a kind. I've never seen any captain like her. Um, and to me, I love hearing what the player said because she plays, she plays tough, she plays incredibly fair, you know, she brings everyone along with her. Um, it's going to be, uh, I've been blessed to have, to be able to coach her for the last three years. And, and Tia, no pressure, but how amazing would it to send uh, Sulu off with winning the grand final next weekend? Oh, it sure will, and it'll be, it's high on, uh, obviously, that's what the team wants, um, and, and it, would be, it would be a wonderful way to send Sulu off. And Cruz, we will be down there, but you are very good friends with Sulu as well. I've played alongside her. Your words for Sulu? Yeah, Paku Mihi, um, Kia Kwe Sulu. Uh, mihi Ana Kwe Kwe Ito, uh, Mahi Kirotu Ite Apoi Tara Fiti Nei. Um, aroha Nui Nui Kia Kwe Anu Hoki Nui Raira Tuna Kwe. So much love to you, Sue. Yes, and I agree. All right, we thank you both for joining us. Best wishes next weekend. We'll see you down there in Kirikiriroa. It is the grand final. It is the Mystics taking on the Stars. It's all on one game, one title. When the lights go out and the night is falling, I'll be standing tall with the whole world watching. It's been a long time coming, I've been waiting for you. It's been a long time coming. I've Who will be crowned the 2023 ANZ champs? Watch me All right, so all going down in a week's time next Sunday, the Mystics and the Stars. I'm going to get both your comments on that grand final and how great it's going to be. It's going to be great. I agree with you on that, call, But, you know, I always get it wrong. So I think on paper it's the Mystics, but from what we saw from the Stars today, they have a really good chance as well. What about you, Jones? Yeah, look, I agree with you. I think the Mystics on paper should win this final and should win it comfortably, to be honest. Um, but, you know, they never know what the Stars are going to bring. They're very controlled in their attack. Um, and then if they can get some uh, ball on defence, I think they can score it well. So Who stands up or who's going to be your grand final? MVP. Good question. I think I'm going to pick a Phoenix for the Mystics and also Amorangi for the Stars. Oh gosh, you're putting me under pressure. <laughs> um, I am going Gina Crampton. I think she can control that um, attacking end for the Stars. Um, and for the Mystics, Grace Nowicki can't go past her. She's going to shoot all those goals. All right, well, it's all going to go down next Sunday in Kirikiriroa. We'll be the ANZ Premiership Grand Final next Sunday. We will also have the Silver Ferns announcement live on Sky Sport Wednesday, the 7th of June. We will hear live from Dame Nolene Todua. It will be the World Cup squad also inside netball this week. But from everyone here, thank you, Cruz. Thank you for our final netball zone. And we'll see you next week.